Hi, my name is B.D. Erickson at Satic American Engineering and Manufacturing here in Missoula, Montana. One of the things that we're absolutely passionate about is clean power. Dirty electricity is wasteful and inefficient. One of the things we get asked a lot and discuss oftentimes, what exactly is dirty electricity? So let's take a few moments of your valuable time and let's really try and discuss and quantify what dirty electricity is. The reason this is an important topic isn't just because it's wasteful, inefficient, because the experts say it may be harmful for you, but because depending on whom you ask, you get so many different answers. So, some of the biggest, largest, most profitable companies in the United States of America actually make power conditioners, product lines, fuses, etc., dedicated to dirty electricity. Square D, Eaton, Cutler and Hammer, some of the biggest companies in America make hundreds of millions of products for this dirty electricity genre. What I'm holding in my hand is a breaker. This goes on your breaker panel. It's familiar to all of us at some level. And what this will do is only allow a certain amount of amps through. So here we have Eaton, Cutler & Hammer, Honeywell, Square D, some of the biggest companies in the country dedicated to regulating electricity. So as we talked about a minute ago, what is a definition of dirty electricity? And I'll tell you right now, that depends on who you ask. If it depends on who you ask, does that mean that somebody's right and somebody's wrong if they give a different answer? If somebody gives a different answer, does that mean that they're lying or they're trying to be untruthful? We're going to take a look at the different aspects of electricity and what some definitions could be for dirty electricity. Let's quickly recap something that I think from our videos you know. We live in a world of alternating current. Alternating current has seven key attributes. Number one is the volt, it's the pressure. Number two is the amp or the current, it's actually the amount of electrons that flow. Number three is the product, the watt, the usable real power. Number four, electromagnetic fields. Number five, total harmonic distortion. Number six, Ohm's law of resistance. And number seven, frequency. Okay, so going back now, if you were to ask Eaton, Cutler & Hammer, Square D, these guys make breakers to limit amps. So a definition they might give is amps outside of a specific amount something outside a set parameter, something outside what should be regulated. I don't find fault with that. I think if you have a device that wants a specific amount of amperage, regulating that amperage is wise. And something outside that parameter could indeed be dirty electricity. Why? Because it's outside a specified range. Let's talk about some more companies. Mars, Panasonic, Texas Instruments, lots of other companies we know make products to regulate the volt. Well, the number one on our, our list was volt. We probably should have started there. Something that regulates the volt oftentimes is something that you and I would call a surge protector. See, half of your outlets are phase A. The other half of your outlets in your home are phase B, and they're each 120 volts. If you get over voltage, that's a spike. A brief over voltage is a transient. So if you ask manufacturers of these products, like Belkin or Philips products we've all known, what dirty electricity is, to them, it's over voltage. It's a transient voltage. It's a voltage outside a specified desired range. Is that true? I'm okay with that too. So is dirty electricity high voltage, transient voltages? You bet it is. That's why so many huge companies in our lives that we see every day make products to regulate electrical voltage. Number two, we just talked about this, 
the amp. Huge companies in America make products to lower the amp. To regulate the amp, excuse me, to regulate the amp. A way that you can lower the amp is with a capacitor. Companies have used capacitors for 100 years to lower amperage. This can help with electromagnetic fields. Number four, electromagnetic fields caused by motors distort waveform. When you have poor waveform, you need more amps. This is called power factor. So capacitor companies and power factor companies, they say poor power factor is dirty electricity. It's out of phase. So now we ask ourselves, is having too many amps required because of bad phase quality, is that dirty electricity? I'm okay with that answer too. Next, THD, total harmonic distortion. Okay, here we go. Companies like Monster Cable, Bang & Olufsen, Yamaha, these other huge companies that you and I know also make products to remove harmonic distortion. Do you want to know why? The audio file. So imagine in your mind's eye that you're at a friend's house and he's a real audio file. He's got an incredible home theater system. And you're in his home theater system watching Avatar. James Cameron has taken us to a world galaxies away of sight and sound, the rich color. You're enjoying on his huge entertainment center, plasma TV, surround sound. But when the mini fridge comes in, comes on in his beautiful bar area, what do you hear? You hear that pop. You hear that tick in the speakers. And to an audiophile, this drives them nuts. Why? Because a minute ago, you and I were lost in James Cameron's world and when the speakers pop, we're right back in Bill's basement. Companies spend millions of dollars and consumers like us, guilty, spend hundreds of millions of dollars per year on products that filter total harmonic distortion or interference because we want that clean, crisp audio sound. Also, if products, uh, if your electrical system has bad sine wave power factor, right, or too much distortion, then what happens is your laptop gets hot. Your phone gets hot. Your tablet gets hot. I know for a fact that your phone has been charging and you felt it and it was too hot. You didn't exactly know why, but you knew as a clever person that that wasn't right and certainly wasn't good for it. That's another reason why you would want to remove electro um, total harmonic distortion. So the audio file, so the Monster Cable or Bang & Olufsen company, if you ask them what dirty electricity is, they would say total harmonic distortion or electromagnetic interference. And you want to know what? I'm okay with that definition too. Let's talk about another one, electromagnetic fields. It's number four, number five on our list, depending, right? Well, what do the health experts say? This says Electromagnetic Radiation Survival Guide. Top EMF solutions by a PhD. This guy literally wrote the book, Dirty Electricity. Sam Milhelm, he's personally known to us here at SATIC. He wrote the book on dirty electricity, EMFs. The EMF Health Alert. You guys, these are books written by PhDs. If you ask them, what dirty electricity is, they would say it's electromagnetic fields and the subsequent radiation that's a result of these electromagnetic fields, right? Well, the one that we forgot is frequency. In America, we have a primary frequency of 60 hertz. If you have electricity that's not 60 hertz, is that clean electricity? Again, you could argue no because clean electricity would be regulated at that 60 hertz that would be useful for your equipment. Your equipment would not like electricity that did not cycle at 60 hertz because that's how it was designed. So Panasonic, Philips, Belkin, they say dirty electricity is higher transient voltage.
Eaton, Cutler Hammer, Square D, Honeywell, some of the biggest countries in America say it's too many amps. Capacitor bank guys, Eatler, Eaton, and Cutler and Hammer, those guys also make capacitors. KVAR and a few products we're not necessarily crazy about here at Static, they would all define it as bad power factor, right? Stereo equipment, electromagnetic fields or electromagnetic interference and distortion, electromagnetic fields, primary frequency. So we asked a question in the beginning. What is dirty electricity? How do you define it? And why do people give different answers? Well, you want to know what? Nobody's lying. None of these people are incorrect. The truth is, they're all correct. This is something that I've asked Dr. Magda Havis, a leader in EMF research, and Dr. Sam Milhelm. I've asked each of these individuals specifically, is electricity clean even if it has low EMF, if it has bad voltage or distortion or sine wave or anything else? At SATIC, we're passionate. At SATIC, when we designed our products, it was never our intent to treat one aspect while neglecting something else. At SATIC, we believe that the answer is all of the above. Truly clean power would have to have a regulated volt, reduced amp, lower harmonic distortion, lower electromagnetic fields, and would maintain primary frequency. The answer is all the above. SATIC is the only product that we know of that treats every aspect of alternating current to clean, regulate, and filter. We also talked about something else briefly. In your home, you actually have three electrical pathways. Breakers cascade, A, B, A, B, down in your breaker system, not left or right. You have two main feeds of electricity coming in. 120 volts of A and 120 volts of B powering your breaker panel and then your breakers cascade A to B. A, 120 volts, half of your outlets in your home. B, 120 volts, the other half of the outlets in your home. And occasionally you have a breaker that has two poles, P-O-L-E. 120 from A plus 120 from B equals what? 240. That's the only difference, family, between 120 and 240 is your dryer, your range, your dishwasher, your air conditioner potentially have two poles and that's why they're 240. It's all 120. They're just grabbing two legs. So, to recap quickly, half of your outlets A to neutral 120. Half of your outlets B to neutral 120. And that's what a balanced load is. You have roughly the same amount of stuff on A as you do on B. And then you have a third pathway, phase to phase, 240. So you have A to neutral, B to neutral, and A to B phase to phase. You have three pathways of power. So at SATIC, what we engineered the products to do is, number one, treat every aspect of alternating current, every category of dirty electricity, and to treat those on every possible pathway. The SATIC whole home unit has three separate circuit boards, three totally separate individual systems to treat it. When you treat every aspect of alternating current on every possible pathway, that's power perfect. That's our trademark. That's what passion and years of research and development have developed. Every aspect of alternating current on every pathway is power perfect. We don't know of any other company in the country or the world that designs a product to do each of these things like the SATIC product does. Maybe it exists somewhere. We haven't seen it. So the first thing is, what's dirty electricity? I think we've described it in a lot of ways. The second thing we want to talk about, where does it come from? What are the causes of dirty electricity? How is it getting into my home or office? Well, number one, it's delivered by the utility. Now, the utility actually does their best to give you electricity that's 60 cycles, to give you electricity that's in good waveform because they don't want to push extra amps either. But as electricity cause travels a long distance, it gets dirty. Number two, we make it. When you have a motor, your dishwasher, washer and dryer, etc., that motor creates electromagnetic fields. That's how it operates. 
DC devices, your phone, your tablet, these DC things that plug in in an AC world clip the waveform, they cause dirty electricity. One of the biggest culprits, CFL and LED lighting. They add harmonic distortion and electromagnetic fields. Another big cause, solar. Your solar sales guy, solar, says solar is clean electricity. Is he fibbing? No, certainly not on purpose. It is clean in that it's renewable. It is clean in that it doesn't come from fossil fuels like oil or coal that take potentially 100 million years but then are burnt up in an instant. It's not the result of a dam that kills native species or nuclear power that has nuclear waste and in that way it is certainly clean and renewable. But by the definitions that we've spoken about, by the criterion that we've discussed today, is it clean? Well, it's not. It often has good sine wave, it often has good power factor, but it often adds more harmonic distortion, electromagnetic fields, and subsequent radiation to the system. Another place that it comes from, the airwaves. I remember driving down the road in my car, and when I was in town with my antenna on my car, I got great FM signal. Once I got out of town, you know what I'm talking about, if you're over 35, you had to turn the dial to AM to get that good signal. Something you may have noticed or lacked to notice, cars haven't had antennas in 30 years. There are too many signals. When you turn on your phone to pick up a Wi-Fi, you see every Wi-Fi of either neighbor on both sides. You see everybody's printer, and you see Netflix and all this stuff. Think about all the cell towers that are out there, and all the wireless TV and DSL and DISH network and everybody's printer and everybody's phone. The world that we live in in the city is full of waves. Now that little antenna on your car did a good job at catching that AM FM, right? Well, what's your house? The copper wiring in your house is a super antenna, maybe miles of high-quality copper wire for all of these signals and waves to land. So you get this dirty electricity from the utility who's actually really trying to do a good job to deliver you clean power. It just picks up car washes and beauty schools, things that add distortion along the way. Number two, you make it your LED and CFL lighting, your plug-in devices, your vacuum cleaner, right? If you have a solar inverter, you're causing a, a large amount of dirty electricity. And we live in a super antenna. So SATIC's product line, and our passionate driver is, while the experts say it's bad for you, there may be some truth to that. We're not doctors. We don't claim that. What we do claim, it's inefficient. It's hard on your stuff. When your tablet or your phone gets hot like that, you're right, it's not good for it. And you want to know else? That heat's not free. Those are wasted watts. So you're actually spending your hard-earned money making your power bill go up only to ruin your things. Don't be misled, it's a game of inches. But there are inches to be had. So the power perfect line now wires at the panel or plugs in strategically in the home to regulate that volt and clean those transients, to lower your amps by improving sine wave, thus lowering watts, as you will learn later too, removing electromagnetic fields by 90-95%, uh, removing total harmonic distortion by 89 or 98 to 99%. Um, as you move less amps, you have less loss to Ohm's law of resistance, which is simple. If you push electricity down a conductant, down a wire, you'll lose a little bit along the way to heat. And finally, saturating out at and maintaining pri uh, primary frequency. I know I just threw a lot at you. I know that this is something that we discuss all the time. What is dirty electricity? Where does it come from, and how do I combat it? The static, power perfect, and pure power line were designed to regulate each aspect of alternating current and have your home or your business have clean, regulated power that's power perfect. Thanks for listening.